Okay, we're picking up a little bit now. Chapter 5. In case anyone forgot, the Lord spoke to Moses non-stop. Um, we would call that today uh, schizophrenia. The next thing to say again was people with eruptions or discharge or dirtied by a dead corpse must be put outside of camp. The Lord also said if someone does something shitty to someone, there is a 20% interest charge, surcharge over the 100%. If no one is left alive to take the payment, it goes to the priest, as well as a ram. If a wife fucks someone other than her husband or a priest, or if she hasn't and her husband thinks she might have, then she and some grain are taken to the priest. She stands before the Lord and is given a witch test. The priest musses with her hair and makes a potion. The jealousy drink. The curse is laid upon her. He tells her if you fucked around, your ass will sag, your tits will droop, and you won't have no more babies. You will be a curse among people. If the potion don't fuck... Picking up a little bit now, chapter 5. In case anyone forgot, the Lord spoke to Moses non-stop. Um, we would call that today... Uh, Picking up a little bit now, chapter 5. In case anyone forgot, the Lord spoke to Moses non-stop. Um, we would call that today uh, schizophrenia. The next thing to say again was people with eruptions or discharge or dirtied by a dead corpse must be put outside of camp. The Lord also said if someone does something shitty to someone, there is a 20% interest charge, surcharge over the 100%. If no one is left alive to take the payment, it goes to the priest as well as a ram. If a wife fucks someone other than her husband or a priest, or if she hasn't and her husband thinks she might have, then she and some grain are taken to the priest. She stands before the Lord and is given a witch test. The priest musses with her hair and makes a potion. The jealousy drink. The curse is laid upon her. He tells her if you fucked around, your ass will sag, your tits will droop, and you won't have no more babies. You will be a curse among people. If the potion don't fuck her up, she didn't fuck no one but her husband and the local priest, and she can make more babies. Priests gotta do these rituals so lots of rituals are happening. Making culture, like rotting cheese. The man will be clear of guilt, but the woman shall suffer for her guilt. Dirty slut. Now, there's a little bit in there to be perused through, and one is, of course, your editor has put in the bit about it's okay to fuck the priests, meaning not necessarily that everyone did, but the priests were above the law, and if you could have sex with a priest, it usually didn't come out, unless it was rape, of course. We all know the priests raped little boys, but sometimes priests have sex, just with a man. One, one priest will have sex with a man that they like, and there's nothing wrong with that, really. As long as both are in agreement, of course. Um, was that in there? No. No, homosexuality, of course, is not really mentioned too much here. And it's not considered homosexuality if you're raping little boys. That's something else. I mean, I think that's an important detail, actually. Rape is not homosexuality. It's a, there's a big difference. We'll get to that some other day. Uh, but anyway, the jealousy drink was some kind of concoction that, apparently, if the woman drank it, she could either have her tits suddenly sag and her ass sag, or not. I don't think that's based too much in reality. I find it a little hard to imagine, unless half the people are allergic or something.